I'm still kind of gobsmacked that this is uh, that this video happened. So so what it is that we're talking about here, Deadpool and Korg from uh, uh, from Thor Ragnarok from uh, I think it was in Avengers Endgame as well, played by Taika Waititi, Ryan Reynolds, Taika Waititi team up as their MCU component or rather as their Marvel components. Uh, to make a kind of a, a viral internet reaction video. You read through the synopsis of this. I know you haven't had a chance to watch the video itself. It's about like four minutes long, something like that. Uh, where they watch the trailer of their shared upcoming movie, Free Guy. But it's... The importance or the interest of this video itself is less about what they have to say Promoting the film Free Guy, which comes out next month in theaters, not on streaming. They make a very, very firm point to point that out. It's more interesting that Marvel, or rather Disney, invested the money to create this thing that Ryan Reynolds has now put up on his official Ryan Reynolds um, YouTube page. What is the meaning behind this? Like, is this... We know that this is viral marketing for Free Guy, for the movie Free Guy. But it's also viral marketing. The story is not about what they have to say about Free Guy. The story here is about Deadpool and Korg sharing an on-screen persona. This is the first time that we've actually seen Deadpool with an MCU character. Dominica, what does this mean? <laughs> well, didn't the article say that this is... Uh, Deadpool joining the MCU. This is, I mean, that's this is his exciting. first official time on screen with an official MCU character. He's not on screen with Iron Man. He's not on screen with Spider Man. He's not on screen with Black Widow. But he is. He's not on screen with an A list character, first of all. <laughs> he, <laughs> you have the budget for that, maybe. <laughs> fair. Fair. He's not on screen with an A list character. But he is on screen with a D-list character. doesn't matter what list he's on. Korg is an official MCU character. And now this is Deadpool's first time. Like, we know that... We know that Deadpool 3 is happening. It's been happening ever since Disney bought 20th Century Fox. I believe... This is so significant that for the first time, Deadpool is sharing the screen with another MCU character. This is this is Kevin Feige's way. This is Marvel's way. This is Disney's way of confirming Deadpool will be in the MCU. He's going to be in the MCU. How is he going to be in the MCU? Still a whole other kettle of fish here. Whole other issue. We're going to have to talk about that separately. But... The question if, because again, we know that uh, Marvel and Disney has been very open in saying we will make more Deadpool movies. Deadpool 3 is currently happening. Uh, they currently have a, a writer attached. They're figuring it out. We know it's coming. But the big question in the air is, was Deadpool ever going to actually be a part of the MCU? Now it looks, though, in a kind of a, I don't want to say passive-aggressive kind of way, but in kind of a passive-aggressive way, um, we get our answer with Deadpool and Korg sharing the screen for the very first time. Deadpool is on screen with another uh, character, another actor. This gets me ridiculously excited uh, because it kind of gives us a little bit more insight as to what direction Deadpool is going to be taking. Now, Dominique, I'm going to kick it over to you. Yeah. Do you think that this means that Deadpool is going to cast kind of a bigger shadow in the MCU? Or do you think he's going to stay in the recesses? How, like, Because he's an R-rated property, right? Disney, the MCU, is not... They don't cater towards that type of humor, towards that type of storytelling. How like how is this how is this gonna work? Are we gonna get a PG thirteen Deadpool? Like what does this mean? Well, I mean they did release a PG thirteen version of of Deadpool two, didn't they? They did, and it was um, glorious. 
guys, <laughs> which I think I watched with one of my kids. <laughs> Nick. Um, but, uh, you know, my thoughts hearing about this, I'm thinking of when Deadpool joined the Avengers sort of uh, in the comics um, during like the Secret Empire storyline with the fake Captain America. <laughs> and I'm wondering if they might have work some of that into it. Well, that's an interesting point because we know that Secret Invasion is a, a television show coming up on Disney Plus with Nick Fury and um, uh, Ben Mendelsohn. Uh, who's... I uh, can't think of his character's name. One of the Kree. Or the Skrulls. Anyway. Um, so, I mean, maybe... That could actually be a, a really interesting way. What? Oh, man. Hang on. Stay with me here. Stay with me here. Because this... Hang on. I'm having all these thoughts in real time. So, this... Oh, man. So many, so many things. So many thoughts that I want to jump and say all at the same time. So, this short, uh, this little bit of uh, viral marketing that we got yesterday... Um, Deadpool dropped the f bomb three times. I went back and rewatched it, uh, and I counted. Deadpool dropped the f word three times. It was bleeped out all three times, but it also indicates that Deadpool is not holding back. He's not holding back. It's going to be bleeped out, so it's very possible that in uh, like an upcoming Deadpool movie, we could get that still same foul mouth character. Keep it PG-13, but just bleep out all the swear words. And then he's going to be commenting on why he's getting bleeped out. Because he's he's a fourth wall breaking character to begin with, right? So there's that. Second thought, in conjunction with what you're talking about, Dominica, uh, with Secret Invasion, Secret Invasion TV show is coming up. What if Deadpool makes his official MCU debut... In Secret Invasion. And now we have Ryan Reynolds, who is a foul-mouthed individual, being teamed up with Nick Fury, uh, or Samuel L. Jackson, who also is a foul-mouthed individual. And we actually had, technically, we had Nick Fury dropping the F-bomb at the end of uh, Avengers Infinity War. They cut it off before he could finish the word. And same thing with Aunt May. Aunt May... Also dropped the F-bomb, let us not forget, at the end of Spider-Man Homecoming. And again, the end credits started rolling before she could finish the word. So we know that Disney is willing to take risks when it comes to dropping the F-bomb in their family-friendly movies. Just saying. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> More thoughts. I, I think, like, the rating system has kind of changed over the years as well. Like, what wasn't acceptable for a PG-13 movie in the past is is uh, sometimes acceptable now. So. Well, especially <laughs> concerning violence. Vi you can get away with so much violence. For whatever reason, uh, you know, the whole, like, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yeah, that's not true. We are a sensitive, touchy, touchy species over here. Um, don't you dare use that F word because I'm offended by it. But if you want to chop somebody's head off, if you want to see blood and gore just galore, that's fine. That's okay. We can watch people break laws and snort lines of cocaine and, uh, uh, you know, murder, th commit genocide. That's fine. But don't you dare drop the F word. I'm offended. So... Right. Well, my, my my thought is like when I was a kid, and um, the the first Batman movie that was out at that time, um, what's his name? <laughs> I can't, I can't Val Kilmer. No, no, no. The the original Michael Keaton one. Um, when that was on TV in Australia, it was rated A O, which stands for adults only. Really? Uh, <laughs> Are you talking about 1989 Batman? Uh, is that when it came out? It might be. So, the, the so there the were two. There was uh, 1989 Batman, uh, and then there was the second one, uh, Batman Returns, which was 1992. The one before that, the first one uh, with Michael Keaton. Jack Nicholson. Uh, and, and Jack Nicholson is the Joker. Yeah. That was rated AO. That was only Australian oh. on TV. That's, that's, that's interesting. 
That's interesting. And now we can get away with so much. Now it's almost like a PG movie. I, yeah, probably. I need to rewatch it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a, it's been a minute since I've seen it. Uh, that's true. Uh, Dominica, before we move on, final thoughts about uh, Deadpool and Korg teaming up in this viral bit of marketing. Uh, I can't wait to watch it. <laughs> I'll probably be watching it immediately after we finish. It. Yes, you should. Yes, you should. <laughs> anyway, guys, question is for you. Uh, have you had a chance to check out this bit of viral marketing for the movie Free Guy, which actually is kind of more secret marketing for uh, Deadpool making his debut into the MCU kind of officially in a weird kind of way, uh, which is extremely meta and weird and backwards, but that's also how Deadpool does things. So anyway, what are your thoughts? What do you think this means? How do you think that the bigger, uh, what do you think the bigger picture is here for Deadpool in the MCU? And how do you think that Marvel's going to play it? I want to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Uh, Redacted83 says Deadpool is going to be for the... Deadpool, Deadpool is going to be the Stan Lee for cameos in Marvel films. Ooh, interesting hot take. Interesting hot take. Um, Dominica, what are your what do you have to say to Redacted eighty three about the possibility of just having Deadpool pop up as like uh, the cameos, like Stan Lee? I can totally see that because that's the sort of thing that he does in the comics as well. That's true. That's kind of true. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's going to be the only thing that Deadpool does. Uh, but yeah, I could definitely see him pop up and do uh, maybe kind of like tease Deadpool a little bit and kind of get audiences uh, ready for like a taste of Deadpool. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. If you really like this video, click subscribe. And if you really really like this video, click share, because that is exactly what Tony Stark's Iron Man would want you to do. Doon to do 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 do